We're Hop Pop Factory. We're two designers who make 3D printed jewelry. So 3D printing is a digital fabrication process where we can take digital models built onto the computer and make them into physical objects in real life. Our background's in architecture and we use rapid prototyping equipment like 3D printing for the past five or six years. Recently, over the past year, we've been working with our own 3D printer and that's how we developed Hop Pop Factory in our collection of jewelry. I was really excited about it. I realized that I could just make things that I wanted to wear and make them the way I wanted to look. Our first jewelry collection is called Stratigraphia. It's inspired by the texture of the 3D printed object. So once we have a design ready to go from the computer, the 3D printer reads our design um, as an STL file and the raw material, which is ABS plastic, it's the same kind of plastic that LEGO is made of. It gets fed through the printer kind of like a glue gun would and the material would get melted and squeezed out through a nozzle and onto a heated platform and the printer will kind of draw our design out in layers, building up, um, creating a 3D project. We started selling our jewelry online, and most recently our products have been introduced in four retail locations in Toronto. One of the most amazing parts about this technology is it used to take a corporation hundreds of thousands of dollars to bring a product to market. But for us, by using the 3D printer, we've been able to design, fabricate, and distribute our product right from our living room. So ultimately, our ambition is to make a, an interface online where you can customize every product you buy and get it made just for you. In the near future, we're actually working on a lot more items now because the message is out there. We're now starting to look at actually a men's collection as well as almost kind of editorial items that are uh, much grander and maybe more avant-garde. So we're looking at making actually some headpieces and maybe larger textiles that um, are more kind of adventurous in how we use the technology.